Hi, today I'm going to discuss niacin. Niacin has been shown to lower the bad cholesterols since 1950. Now, if you've had some thorough testing, like a lipoprotein particle test, you'll find that there are some bad cholesterols. It's usually the tiny little BB-shaped type of LDLs that are bad. There's also another particle called lipoprotein A. Now, lipoprotein A, there's no drug that can lower that. So many docs forget testing about it because the reality is there's nothing, nothing on the market to lower it. But lipoprotein A in and of itself is a huge risk factor for heart disease. So you, first of all, you want to be tested for that. And if the levels are high, understand nothing's going to get lower. But niacin, niacin can lower lipoprotein A by 10 to 30 percent. Also, it'll lower triglycerides by 10 to 30 percent and the nasty LDLs by 10 to 30 percent. Now you have to have the thorough testing to figure out if your LDLs are nasty or not and whether or not niacin would be of benefit to you. Uh, also, if you are taking niacin, studies show that it could be, it could be uh, hard on the liver. So make sure your doctor's monitoring your liver enzymes if you're taking niacin. Another thing with niacin, if you've ever taken niacin, you'll get this uh, flush, like you're, you're, it opens the capillaries and, and you know your face will turn red and you'll feel this big hot heat flush. If you take it after meals, you might avoid that. Also, there's certain compounds that, that mix, mix niacin in them uh, that help uh, eliminate that effect. So that kind of becomes a pretty nasty side effect when you're walking around and you're hot and your face is red from taking niacin. So, if that helps, great. If you like this video, press the like button. If you need more information, please visit my website. Thanks.